Hi, welcome to the last video on Shopify Store 2.0 for developer series. And this video series was for developer. I hope it has been informative so far. And this is the last video. I will wrap up everything we have learned as a recap and also some of the missing feature I forgot to mention in the video series. So it is going to be a wrap up and also a refresher for you. So if I come in here in my workflow, uh, we learn about Shopify uh, CLI, which is the new way of creating theme as well as app. CLI is not only for theme, you can use the app version to create app using Node.js. We didn't touch that part. I might create more video on the future, but we focus on the theme with Shopify CLI. Um, it is built on Ruby, so you can install it in your computer. It will be kind of replacement for theme kit in the future. It will give you the ability to test your Shopify theme in your local environment. Uh, we went through the installation of this and also we learned how you can install it on Mac OS and Windows. I didn't touch the Windows part, but I just touched this part, which you could install with Brew or Gem. And then we will learn about the new feature in Store 2.0. The main important uh, feature was like the meta field you could add from the theme setting and then uh, not from the team setting, from the store setting, and then you could directly apply that to the product, and then you could use dynamic data, which also we discussed about this one. Uh, the other main feature which we discussed was the Shopify new theme editor, uh, how you could use the dynamic data source from Metafill, and how we could create a custom template for each product that we had here. And we also learn about the theme structure. If I come to my code editor, I can show you that, yeah, we have the uh, liquid version of the product as well as the JSON version. And what is the difference? We discuss about section everywhere and how section everywhere is going to work. And uh, something that I forgot is when you open any of this section, let's open uh, this newsletter. If I scroll down, you can notice some differences here. How is this going to work? I'm going to explain it shortly here. This text is coming from a translation and Shopify require you, they ask you that it is a good practice to put all this level in the translation. If someone wants to translate your theme, your whole Shopify backend should be also translated. So if you want to find this one, you can always search for in the, inside the translation point and these are just the setting. You just go to locals and from here you can see you have default schema in here so let's copy this one this is the easiest way you can find it you can go to this uh, setting schema this one is not for english uh, let's find which one we are looking at i think it was this one um, you can find it but basically this is all the translation which you can directly put this one and these are inside the section. So if you check this one, it is inside the header and inside the setting, each of them are like separately located in here. So if you see this change, which is new, I have no, never seen this one in any theme. If you are seeing this, just know that this is all coming from a translation. So yeah, that's all we learned in this video series. I hope it has been informative for everyone who was uh, following along and more videos are coming in the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because I will create more advanced uh, tutorial for Shopify as well as like front-end development also. That was it. And again, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.